So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. So if you got yourself a fire stick, you did all the updates, then all of a sudden came across, told you that you had another update and you updated it and you come across this screen here where it's telling you about auto offload. I'm going to show you what you need to turn off. Stay tuned. It's time for streaming. So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. So here you are, you're on your fire stick. Right now, today I'm on the regular fire stick 4K. Did an update and I came across this screen here where it's telling me about auto offload, which means that if you go ahead and say okay to it, that when it comes across saying that you're low on storage, it's automatically going to start deleting your programs. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Plus, if you like what you're seeing, click on that like and subscribe button, ring that bell. That way you know when I put up some more videos. So right here at this point, just go ahead, click on your enter button and click on continue. So on the home screen, go over to the right to where the gear is or the cog wheel. And let's go down to where it says my fire TV and go ahead and click on it. Now what you want to do is go ahead and click on about and then click on storage. Once you click on storage, you're going to see here auto offload go ahead click on it and just make sure that it's turned off this way when your device says that you're running low on storage it doesn't come up and show you different apps and you automatically don't uncheck them and you just say okay if you leave them checked they're going to delete themselves right off of your fire stick and you're going to have to go ahead and re-download them so right here with the off you don't have to worry about that nothing's going to get deleted but there are some other settings that you really need to do. So let's go ahead now, click on that home button one more time. Let's go back over to the gear. Go ahead and let's go down to where it says preferences. Go ahead and click on it. Parental controls, make sure it's off or you can have it on. It all depends on who's in your household. Go ahead, click the back button. Privacy settings, go ahead, click on it. Manage shared from apps. Sync across devices. It's up to you if you want to go ahead and do this. I leave mine on. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. Go ahead and click the back button. Data usage. You don't want anything to be collected, so turn it off. Collect, turn it off. Interest based ads. No, you don't need no interest based ads. Go ahead and turn it off. Go ahead and click that back button on your remote. Data usage monitoring. Go ahead, click on it. Make sure it's off. Still watching. Go ahead and turn it off. These are the settings that you should turn off as soon as you go ahead and you program your Fire Stick for the first time. But it's never too late for you to turn them off. It's absolutely fine. Notification settings. Do not interrupt is off. App notifications. It's up to you. If you want to be notified when there's an update, you can leave them on or turn them off. I left a couple on because that's what I prefer. Feature content, allow video autoplay. That's pretty much for when you're on your home screen and you see the advert, it will start playing. Go ahead, turn it off. Same thing with this one here, allow audio autoplay. Go ahead and turn it off. You don't need it. Then you can go ahead and set your location, your time, your language. Go ahead and click on that back button. And now you're onto your home screen. I hope you find this video very helpful, entertaining. Leave your comments down below. Just make sure you go through these settings, turn them off. This way, Amazon does not collect any type of data from what you are doing. Remember to click that like, subscribe button, and ring that bell. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.